Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, PySpark real-time scenario based questions, uh, today I am going to give you one of the real-time scenario is how to get null record count at each column from particular data frame. Consider if you have a data frame, if you want to know how many null records at each column. So how to find or you can say how to get number of null rows at each column each column from a data frame so this will help you for editing purpose like if you want to store each column by its number of null records are there we can get dynamically so in this process we should understand how to get a number of uh, null records at each column dynamically so let's create one data frame and understand that how we can achieve that so I'm going to create one notebook, how to get number of null rows from the data frame at each column. So I'm going to create one employee data frame. Uh, the same data file already uploaded in my GitHub. You can find it in my GitHub and uh, spark.read.csv. So I have already uploaded this data file, file store, tables, emp.csv, and it is CSV file, header is available, so header show, info schema, so creating data types based on data, and the file is having some uh, string data, uh, instead of treating as a string for null value, we should uh, treat as a null. So this file is having some null. Null default Spark will treat as a string. I will show you that. This file is having some data. So if you look at this, so employee name Smith, and these are list of columns, right? So when you look at this, commission is having null. So instead of treating as string, it should treat as a null value. Like this, multiple nulls are there here. You see multiple nulls are there. Okay, so for that, I'm going to specify one option called null value. Don't treat as a string, treat as this null. Even I can show you the data. Display. So this is the data. Okay, so here some nulls are there and uh, many nulls are there. So here is one null. Here are multiple nulls are there. Even last three records are nulls. Okay, here also null record is there. So normally if you are looking for null records, uh, single column wise we can get single column using filter. Consider. So we can apply filter or where class commission is null then take number of records count count we can use one of the function and it will give you 23 records are null records in commission column similarly i want to know how many employee numbers are null so three employee numbers are null these three are null records okay even uh, manager id how many manager ids are null five records are null but if you're looking for a total all columns wise null record if you're looking for all columns wise null records we need to go with the first to get the columns so how to get a column these columns so there is a one function called columns and uh, this will give you in a python list this will give you in python list and we can use the for loop we can use for loop and reading each column and take into one variable and we can get that, but you have to write in multiple lines. So instead of that, we can go with the list comprehensions. So Python is providing a list comprehensions. So entire this logic, which you can write in a list. Okay, that is called single line. So what I can do, I can use the select transformation. I can use select transformation inside that. I can use a list of comprehensions. So I'll take each column, then I can take a count. Count 
So here count, but condition based count the number of records it will give you. If I go with the count column of this, this is a column. Okay, then I will use a display. Okay, so we need to import this function. Let's import that function because we are using inside select uh, transformation from pipespark.sql.functions import count import call. These two functions are imported. Now you see each column with total records it is giving. Total records it is giving. But we are looking for only null record count. So if this column is, is null, then take that count. So that is called condition basis. So we can use, there is another expression or you can say function called when. So when, if this column is null, then take that output, take that output. So we need to import when function also. So close properly. So here it is, uh, count is closing here. Now it is giving, but your expression looks, your column name is coming as the expression, which you can give alias name here, alias name, as your column name, same column name. Now you see this column is having three records. This column is having three null records. This column is having three null. This column is having final, final, three nulls. 23 nulls. So this way which we can achieve identifying or uh, getting number of null rows at each column in a single line you see this. So using a count inside that I'm using a, another function called when. If when this column is null then take that record count. If you're not using a when condition what will happen? It will take total number of records. It will take total number of records but we are not looking for a total number of records we are looking for where particular column is null where particular column is null then take that record count so that column is coming here from this data frame we are taking this column and for loop looping one by one so count also function when also function call also function so this way which we can achieve getting number of null rows at each column. So thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel and see you in another video. See you.